This is Mr. Wedge, and in this video I'm going to show you how to open your diorama photo that you took, and we're going to crop it, which means trimming the edges off, and we're going to adjust the light levels. So we're going to make the shadows darker and the light areas lighter, just so it looks good. And I'll show you a couple other things too. And then we're going to save it in a special way. So first thing we're going to do is open Photoshop. So we're going to go Start, All Programs, scroll down to the folders. These are programs and these are folders. You want the folder that says Adobe Design and Web Premium CS6. You click that. And then Adobe Photoshop. They're the ones on the bottom that are blue, and it doesn't matter which one. When Photoshop loads, um, if you've used it before, you remember the toolbars on the left. And if you have this thing right here, you can slide it around. If you click the arrows, it'll open it, but we're not going to use those. It's for a smart notebook, not Photoshop. So grab the dots, and you can just um, drag this whole thing so it's out of your way. And then close it with the arrows. So that's down out of the way now. So now that we're in Photoshop, we need to open our photo. So we're going to go File, Open, and then we're going to go over here to Computer, Shared Files, double click it, Elementary Classes, double click it, Wedge. You gotta find your class and open your classes. And now these are all photos from our class, but you have to find your photos that you took. So you have to remember what it looked like. And you also have to pick your best one. You're gonna pick your best photo to Photoshop it. But we can't see them at all. So there's a little trick. You're gonna go right up here. This is the view menu. And you're gonna go large icons. It's the second one down. And that way you can see them all. And you can scroll through. You can make this a little bigger so you can see more faster. And you've got to find you know, your photos and then figure out which one is your best one from the classes folder. And you can also go up here to the view menu to extra large icons. And that, that'll let you see them even better. So the lighting on this one looks good. So that might be a good one. Some of them are blurry, some of them are really dark, so you might not want to use those. Just go through and find yours and pick your best one. So I'm scrolling, I'm looking for my photos. I don't see them yet. They might be up at the top. This one's blurry, so that person hopefully won't use that one. Okay, that one's mine. I know that that one's mine. I don't know if it's my best one though, so I'm going to keep looking. That one's mine too. It's sideways, but I know that one's mine. And that one's mine, too. So I'm looking and I'm comparing. That one's good. That one's good. I think that one is better than this one. So I think I'm going to go with this. I think this is my favorite. I like the low angle. So I think this is my best photo. So I'm going to click this one, open it, and this is the photo that I'm going to Photoshop. All right, first thing we need to do is crop the photo. So you're going to go up to the crop tool. It looks like two overlapping boxes with a line through it. It's the one, two, three, four, fifth tool down on the left. Or you can just push the letter C on your keyboard. It will do the same thing. And now we've got a dotted line all the way around it. And all we want to do is pull the edges in so that we don't see the table anymore and we don't see the wall and the art room in the back. So, um, on the top, it's good. I, it, the sky goes right to the edge, so I don't need to do anything. So I'm going to leave the top alone. This one, uh, you can see like the edge of the paper. We don't want that. So we're going to just grab this and lift it up so that we just don't see the edge anymore. So the top's done, the bottom's done. You can see the room in the back on the right side. So I'm going to grab this and pull it in so it's inside the edge of the paper. There we go. And the left, unfortunately, because of the angle I was at, I'm going to cut a lot of this panda bear off because I've got to go all the way to here. But that's okay. It'll still look good. So I drag it in. And then when I'm all done, 
the edges are pulled in, I hit the enter button on the keyboard, and then I can click the select tool. And there we go, I've cropped my photo. It looks pretty dark to me, so what I'm going to do now is go up to edit, I'm sorry, image, okay, forget edit, don't go to edit, image adjustments levels, or you can just push control L, it'll get the same thing. If I grab the blue, I can move it out of my way so I can see the picture. Do you see this mountain range? That's what you're going to use to figure out what your lights and darks are. Don't move the middle triangle, but the black triangle will adjust your shadows, and the white triangle will adjust your highlights. If you pull them in too far, it'll just look terrible. So you want to take the black triangle and the white triangle and just pull them in until they touch the bottom of this mountain range. And the black already touches the bottom of the mountain range, so I don't have to make my shadows any darker. And that makes sense because the picture's already dark, but maybe yours is too light. So as long as you pull the white and the black in until it touches the bottom of your mountain range, then you're good. If you pull it in too far, it'll just look awful. So that's the second thing we're going to do. So crop your photo, um, image, adjustments, levels, pull the white and the black in until it touches the bottom of this mountain range, and then click OK. And that's my diorama photo. It looks good to me. So I'm done. I can show you other things like how to paint things and add things, but if you get this far, then you're all set. Um, so now I have to save it, and you have to save it in a real specific way so that I can print these out for you. I'm going to print them in color, but only if you save it the right way. So here's how you save it. You're going to go File, Save As. You're going to um, put it in your class's folder, the same place it was already in. Um, if you're not in that folder, I'll show you how to get back to it. Computer, Shared Files, Elementary Classes, Wedge. Um, you're going to find your class again, and then make sure you're in that folder. If you were already in that folder, you didn't have to do that. Second thing you have to do is select the file name, and you're going to call it your name. So I'm going to say Mr. Wedge. First name and last name, please. And if you put your class code, so let's say if I'm in Smith, I'm going to put 5SM. That'll help me get it back to you faster if you do that. So first name, last name, and class code. I'm in all the classes, so I'll just save it as my name. So then click Save. Um, you can slide this up so the quality is really high. Click OK. And then you can X out of Photoshop. You're done. Um, and then you can watch the video called When You're Done. There's a video called When You're Done. And that's it. Work hard and have fun.